Hello everyone, it is Quasty here, and today we are playing Roblox Speed City. We are going to try get one million steps. Let's do this. So, you start off in the main city. You can walk around to get steps, or you can collect these orbs to get a lot of steps. After you reach 2,500 steps, you can move to the next area. In the city, there are also crates. You can buy these to get trails. These will multiply the amount of steps you get for every step you take, the amount of steps you get for every orb you get, and for some reason, how high you jump. Yeah, I don't know why. It's weird. I didn't think... The, a game about speed would also be a game about jumping, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, after you reach 2,500 steps, you can go to the Winter World. This is essentially just a replica of the city, but it's smaller and the orbs are worth a bit more. There's also this snowman in the corner that is missing an eye and will give you a trail if you find it. I don't know why. Honestly, some things about this game is just weird. Anyway. Now, the winter map only costs 2,500 steps to enter, but to get to the original map, and no, I'm not talking about the city, I'm talking about the map literally called the original map, it costs 50,000 steps to get in. Yeah. Hope you like winter, because you're going to be there for a while. But after you get that whopping 50,000 steps, you can enter the original map. And yeah, this is actually quite a basic map. It, but it's also not basic. It's basic, but not basic. It's basic, but detailed. I don't know why. It just, it feels basic and it feels detailed at the same time. Um, it's kind of similar to the city, but then not similar to it at all. It's made up of m multiple islands connected together by a bridge. Yeah, it is quite cool. But you're not going to be staying there as long as winter because 25,000 more steps and you can head off to Volcano. This is a really really nice map it's small but it's where you get a lot of steps this area features a well volcano surrounded by a ring of lava and a bunch of rock it's not got any like big obstacles or geometry in it it's just a pretty flat map. There are a few ledges, but it's quite flat, so you can just run around and grab all the orbs. But you will be there for quite a while, because you will have to grind up 425,000 steps there before you can get to the next area, which is the beach. Now, the beach requires 500,000 steps to enter. But that payoff is worth it. The beach has got quite a few different crates, but they are really, really expensive. Like, I am talking really, really expensive. Like, seriously. These things are so expensive. The cheapest one costs one million steps. Yeah, that's a lot of steps. That is our end goal. And, uh, maybe what I buy when I finally reach that end goal. But in the end, the beach is really, really good for grinding. Ding. Honestly, you can get so, so many steps here so quickly. It's honestly insane. Hey. There's a beach which features yellow and light blue orbs, and then there is an ocean which features dark blue orbs. And those dark blue orbs are good, like really, really good. 
they give you so many steps. So after a bit of grinding, like, and when I say a bit, I mean like a tiny bit, a tiny bit of grinding at the beach, I finally got one million steps. And in a proud walk up to the beach crate, I used all those steps to open it and got a cry face trail. A bit of a disappointment, sure, but still, it's a great trail. Oh. Uh, also, after you s don't have enough steps to enter an area, even if you're still in that area, or you can't collect any of the orbs there. So yeah, but that's going to do it for this one. Fun. See you all in the next one. Good. Bye-bye.